Hi, my name is Ian Page. I am a recording engineer and an electronic musician. Uh, I recently had a request. Someone wanted to remix one of my songs, and I work in Pro Tools, and they most likely work in Ableton or some other DAW. <clears throat> and I kind of wanted to get uh, my stems to them in an orderly thing, you know, a fashion that reflects uh, my mix. Um, so I just wanted to kind of uh, make this video and hopefully clear up some things for some people and make it a little easier for you uh, to go ahead and bounce your files down, make stems, and uh, uh, be able to trade files with your uh, friends that don't have Pro Tools and can't open a Pro Tools session. Uh, so without further ado, um, I'm going to go about how I went, um, uh, my process to make these stems and clear up some stuff and make it really easy for everybody. Okay, so uh, number one, what I did was I would... Um, uh, say I'm this kick here. Okay, I'm going to make a new track, and it's going to be a stereo audio track. Okay, and <clears throat> let's see where that bad boy popped up at. Oh boy, sorry guys, I'm already I'm already wasting time. This is not good. What the fuck? Where did it go? Here we go. Okay, um. Cool, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and label these yellow. And what you're going to do is you're going to take an available bus. Okay, in my case, I only had like six, which sucks that I do them like six at a time, but nine and ten. And that's going to be the input to this track. And we're going to take this kick track and make the output bus nine and ten. Okay. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and do that for every single track in the, in the song. And you're going to record enable, you're going to name them, okay? This is going to be B kick, right? Like bounce kick, okay? And then we're going to put it in record enable. And once we had, you know, the, the kick verb, the claps, the hat, uh, the snares, all, the, all these things bust to that, um, we would print it and we would all print them in the equal length, okay? So I would just hit record here and we would fill this region um, but we would continue to do that for length for all of them. Okay. Uh, now then, the problem with that is, um, in the world of Pro Tools, uh, stereo files get divided. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Let me just close this session. Um, don't save. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at what happens when you do that. So um, I had gone through and made my bounces earlier and I'll show you guys that file in just a moment. Um, but let's go and look in here. Um, gosh, I should have had all these folders ready. I, th I thought that I did. Um, what's the name of this fucking song? Oh my God. Jacked up. Okay. So now we go into audio files here and you notice that everything is split. So it's left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, you know, claps, left, right, filter base, left, right, hats, left, right. Well, that's no good. I can't package that up into a folder and give that to somebody because they're going to have, you know, non-interleaved stereo files and that's not going to be any freaking good, right? So the workaround is this. It's been in the corner the whole time, yeah? Uh, control shift K. So let's go back to my, <clears throat> um, and then actually once you do control shift K, you would end up with stems that look more like this. So here we have my base sub is all one interleaved stereo file as opposed to over here where it's split and left and right. Okay. Um, now I'm going to show you how I, I attain that. So we're going to go over to pro tools here and I'm going to open, um, this file, which is uh, the previous session that I just had open, um, and I just kind of demonstrated, I went ahead and deleted all those tracks just so I could make this easy on myself when I was looking at stuff. And So here's my result of my individually bounced files in that last session. And now what I'm going to do is, and I, you know, this is some rare shit, so I, they don't even, there's no way to really find this in the export uh, menu or any of that stuff 
um, which really sucks because I don't understand why, like, you know, people want stems, people want to remix stuff, they want to send stuff to their friends. Usually it's coming into Pro Tools and not the other way around, so I can understand why uh, it wasn't a big priority for them. But if you go to your export thing, you're going to find that you can't do it, which sucks, okay? So now what you would do is select everything here. Let's go and just go to the group and grab it all. Boom. Everything's highlighted, right? Everything is perfect length. Everything's highlighted. It's all been bounced to two fucking stereo tracks. Pardon my French. If I speak like a sailor, but that's because I'm a recording engineer. Okay, so now if you hit... Uh, what was I saying it was? <laughs> just, I almost made this video just for myself so I could remember. Control-Shift-K. Okay. Oh, here we go again. Control-Shift-K. And then you get this cool menu, export selected. All right, so <clears throat> um, we're gonna do file type wave and we're gonna want them interleaved, right? See, so they weren't before. They're gonna be multiple mono, fuck that. We don't need that. So we're gonna go interleaved. Um, and I'm gonna be doing them at the same bit depth and sample rate that I had originally created them at. Uh, and um, now you choose your directory. So what I had done was I went and I made a directory on the desktop and I made a new folder for it and it's called Jack Depp Stems. And then I clicked and chose um, that directory and then said use current folder. Okay. Um, and you would click this button, which I can't do now because I've already made it. And then um, they would all end up in there interleaved and now I've got uh, uh, let's go ahead and cancel that uh, now I've got everything in this folder boom jacked up stems which is on my desktop ready to go ready to be shipped off to the kid to remix <clears throat> and I got 22 tracks or how many number tracks but they're all in stereo here um, I mean, a lot of them were in stereo. I mean, so if you had some in mono, you could, you know, you could do that as well. But um, in this case, everything I had in that session was stereo. And now it's going to be nice and neat. And um, yeah, that's it. So good luck. And I hope that cleared some stuff up. Remember, it's not really easy to find the menus. Uh, Control-Shift-K. Boom.